what is going on YouTube so today I wanted to come back and do my World Series prediction <clears throat> excuse me so I have already done my MLB season preview and predictions for this year but I did not actually go through my World Series prediction I wanted to save that for a separate video I already did my division winners my wild cards if you want to go through and see all that probably saw the rest of my predictions um, I will put that link to the video probably in the description below and then it'll also probably be in the outro so Obviously, if you guys watched any sort of baseball last year, you knew that the Royals beat the Mets in the World Series, and to me, it was one of the more entertaining World Series I've watched in a while. I really, I, I like the Royals. I think, I mean, I like what they're doing, and I think it's hard not to, I think it's really hard not to root for them, but like I said, I wanted to move in my twenty fifth or 2016 prediction, so... Uh, just to give you guys a little idea of the odds right now for the winners of the World Series, the top, or the favorite right now to win the World Series, 11-1 to is the Chicago Cubs. There are also a couple teams at 12-1, to including the Dodgers, Royals, Mets, Cardinals. Uh, there's a couple teams at 14-1, to the Astros, Pirates, and the Rangers. And then there's a couple more teams further down, but that's, that's enough of that list. If you do want to go see it, just Google World Series odds. But like I said, I wanted to move into my 2016 World Series prediction. So, for me, I think the AL champion is going to be the Toronto Blue Jays. I think the Blue Jays, top to bottom, have one of the best lineups in baseball. The pitching isn't as deep as it used to be because of the loss of David Price. But I really could see Marcus Stroman stepping up in a big way this year. I think that he's going to be a good ace for the Blue Jays. Like I said, the pitching lineup there on out isn't that strong I, there's a couple of guys that really depends on how good a year they have all right dicky being one of them but like i said from top to bottom i think they have one of the top, or one of the best lineups in baseball uh they got russell martin um formerly excuse me former al mvp josh donaldson edwin Encarnacion, a mainstay for a couple of years now jose bautista who's been absolutely fantastic obviously the last couple of years um, there's a few guys that I think can also come along pretty well this year. I think the Blues just have a lot of young talent. Um, Devin Travis, for one. Junior Lake, I think, will be very good this year. Dalton Pompey, I think, could take a big step as well. And obviously on the infield, they still got Troy Tulowitzki, man, in the shortstop position. I think he'll be just as good, if not better, than last year. So I think the NL champion is going to be the San Francisco Giants. So for me, the Giants have one of the best rotations in baseball top to bottom with some of the acquisitions they made this offseason. So they do still return quite a bit of talent at the starting pitcher, or at starting pitcher. I mean, they still have Matt Cain. They still got Madison Bumgarner. I think Matt Cain will have, I hope Matt Cain will have an improved year. But like I said, they still have Matt Cain, Madison Bumgarner, Chris Heston, and they brought in Yanni Cueto and Jeff Smarja, two incredibly talented pitchers. Um... And they still got Jake. I mean, I'm still pretty sure they got Jake Peavy. So, I mean, they got a pretty deep rotation. I think one they will be able to take them to the World Series in a division that really outside of the Diamondbacks got pretty much every team got worse um, in the rotation. The Dodgers are still going to be tough with the rotation. They still got maybe the best pitcher in baseball, Clayton Kershaw. Probably is the best pitcher in baseball. But even outside of that, I think the Dodger or I think the Giants will have an improved lineup this year. Obviously, behind the Play. They got Buster Posey, best catcher in baseball. Um, and they, I mean, I think they got a solid backup to him with Andrew Sushak. So on the infield, I think that Brandon Belt took huge strides last year, and I think that he could be even better this year. Um, it's got Brandon Crawford, one of the better defensive second basemen in all of baseball. And then I think Joe Panic can take some big strides, or if he can take some big strides this year, then I think that will help him out even more. And they've got a decent outfield led by Angel Pagan and Hunter Pence. I'm assuming Denard Spann's going to take over the third starting position there. Probably the center field spot. But, like I said, I think that the Giants are definitely a team that is good enough to maybe even win their fourth World Series. And what would this be? Six years now. Uh, 2010, 2012, and 2014 World Series champions. And to give my prediction, I do think that the Giants will repeat. Not repeat, but get another World Series. I think that they will be able to take down the Blue Jays. I think that a Giants-Blue Jays World Series would be entertaining. I don't think it'll be as good as last year if that's what actually happens, but 
That is my prediction. If I had to get the exact amount of games, I'd say Giants in six. Like I said, I think the Giants just have too much pitching to, even if they do get, even if they do run into injury problems, I think they got too much pitching um, to be able to be stopped this year. And after a down year last year, I think that they're going to be motivated, ready to go. Like I said, I think that Buster Posey, Hunter Pence lead, a pretty good lineup, and then um, Yoni Cueto and Madison Bumgarner lead, probably what is one of the top three rotations in baseball. So like I said, that's pretty much it. I will be putting, like I said in the beginning of the video, my MLB season preview and predictions link in the description below. Also, I will be putting my uh, fantasy baseball mock drafts. If you want to go check those out uh, if you are big into fantasy baseball. I'll put those links in the description below as well. And then, like I said, uh, the MLB season, prediction, or season preview and predictions will probably be in the outro as well. So that's pretty much it. So yeah. I think Cano would really have a huge year this year. Subpar year last year. In an AL West that I really think is going to be really good. Again, I think this, I didn't mention this earlier, I think the AL West is going to be the best division in baseball. The Mariners are a team that, while they're not at the top of the league right now, I think can definitely, definitely have a big year, if not, if not